Good day. Today I'm going to be uh, covering in this episode turning with a grooving tool. Just how you can do it, why it works, why it doesn't shatter, and uh, the best ways of going about it and the do's and don'ts. So let's get on with the lesson. Okay, so uh, I, I, I printed this up so that you can uh, you can see better what I'm talking about and the way we used to do things back in my CNC shop. Turning with, with grooving tools on a CNC is a pretty common practice uh, but you must, you've got to remember that they have much bigger motors, uh, more powerful uh, feed motors, bigger heavier tools, bigger heavier turrets, all sorts of stuff, uh, faster. Back in my shop, we used to uh, we used to use them quite a lot, and I'll I'll explain to you just how and why we did that. If we were making something like this half inch BSP nipple, we just use this style of turning tool, and it'd just be a simple case of down, face it up, turn the taper, put the chamfer on the hexagon, back in. Quite often, just use the back edge of the tool to put the chamfer on there, turn the taper, chamfer it, back out of there again. But if you're machining something like this one here, which would be say a half inch BSP to quarter BSP, you've got a massive step over in the back there. And the reason we machined them this way was because we would bore the guts out of that to help reduce the weight and recover some more of the soft because brass is it's expensive stuff and uh, you want to retrieve as much of it as you can. So we would either we do it one of two ways, just depending on the part. We'd either come in with, with a tool like this, machine this part of it, and just maybe knock the hex off it a little bit, put the chamfer there. Then we'd come in with this tool. Or we'd come in with this tool and just machine the whole thing with it, and then plunge over the back. Uh, you've got to go pass right through. And this, by the way, is the right hand tool. You're doing the left hand tool. Plunge in over the back, cutting the, the chamfer with the back edge. Plunge in once, machine it, come out, plunge in again, just depends how deep it is, machine it again, come out, plunge in again to the final depth, machine that taper and then out of there again. So that's where it becomes useful. Now we machined everything at 3000 RPM and we ran that tool as fast as we could run it. Uh, it's a long time since I retired and I don't remember the exact feed rates but they were pretty high. Now the way this works and it doesn't chatter is because you've got to remember this is flat across here and normally if you were to put a flat tool against the part and run it along like that it would chatter like mad so the way this works is you have to go in deep enough and power it fast enough to make the tool tip over so as it tips over it, it gets a hang on a sec we'll find a ruler so it's in there like this and as it tips over you get a little bit of heel clearance like you'd, like you'd get on any other turning tool. And it's just a slight twisting, that's all it is. So it twists over and then off you go. And then to come back the other way, again it would twist over and back you come this way. So that's how it works. And uh, they work really well. The only thing you've got to, to make sure you don't do is go too deep and try to take too deep a cut. Because you will actually pull that tip right out of there. Or, and or break or bend this. But like I said, in, uh, in, a, in a CNC, you get a much bigger, much heavier tool. So, why don't people use this on their mini lace? Because they never thought of it, probably. Or they thought it wasn't possible. But I will show you uh, shortly a cut with this, and uh, you'll see just how well it works. And because these things generally have a fairly big radius on the end here, you get quite nice finishes out of it as well. So let's go and do that. So uh, let's make a cut and see how it goes.
Well, as you can see, it's not a bad finish. Uh, it might have been a little better if I'd have gone a little deeper and fed it just a little faster, but all in all, that's pretty good. So if you're enjoying these videos, how about giving me the big thumbs up and a like, and uh, and maybe watching some of those others. Subscribe if you need to, and press that little bell button. So until next time, thanks for watching. Bye bye.